So we just did the spinal thalamic pack pathway, this conscious pathway, because it travels to the primary somatosensory cortex, we are typically aware of these stimuli. So various touch and pressure, um, pain and temperature that travels from where the stimuli is, the stimulus is, um, through the first sensory receptor cell, exceptions for like the Merkel's disc, where there's a separate sensory cell. Um, but then we've got, this is actually a unipolar cell. Um, synapse in the spinal cord, then the thalamus, and then the primary somatosensory cortex for perception. Two different tracks, lateral and anterior. The second somatosensory pathway is unconscious. So this is going to be um, more like body position. So proprioception, where our body is in space. Um, and this comes from, it's gonna be located, oops, so do actually do the, the cell here where the, the um, dendrite or detector part is, is going to be in the muscle spindles, the tendons, so those tendon organs, and joint capsules. So proprioception is where your body is in space, aware of the body position. This information is going to travel to the spinal cord still, because that's what information does. This is where we enter the CMS, right? Um, and then from the spinal cord, instead of traveling to the thal thalamus, it's still gonna travel to the brain, but we're gonna go to the cerebellum, right? So cerebellum is the little brain that's responsible for a lot of this awareness of body position and unconscious adjustments to allow for coordination. So this is the pathway in a little bit more detail, um, similar to the picture I showed for spinal thalamic. We still have a first order neuron here. This has the accuracy, right, of the unipolar neuron. This is receiving information, again, proprioceptive, info, so stimuli from the muscles this muscle spindle specifically, muscles, the tendons, which are attached to the muscles, and the joints. So all related to body movement. Um, crossing, let's get there. So here's a first order neuron, axon of the first order neuron is in red. All right, that's that sensory neuron. Then we are going to synapse in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. And then we are going to travel up in a ascending um, column or track, which is the spinal cerebellar tract. Through the medulla, no synapse, up to the cerebellum where there is um, the synapse. There is no third order neuron in this pathway. So remember our cerebellum is our little brain. Um, this can help us regulate body position, um, talks to the cerebellum to alter motor output then. We'll see that a little bit more. So spinal, spinal, spinal cerebellar, um, important for coordinating muscle activity. Specifically, actually one more thing here. So these proprioceptors, um, these are going to be in a muscle spindles is one actual type, actual receptors, muscle spindles, Golgi tendon organs, um, bulbous corpuscles, um, and do I want to leave it at that. Mm. 
will put lamellar corpuscles as well. Okay, and that is because this um, deep pressure that is detected by lamellar corpuscles is important, especially like hands and feet for um, amount of weight in different places. So that deep pressure helps with body position, even though it's not in the muscles themselves. Okay, learning check three. Answer these. 